are off to another fun day at the gym. It has another class. So I don't know how much I'm gonna film because it was kind of hard to film last time and keep track of him and not get a bunch of other people in the video as well. So um, we'll see, but we'll definitely let you know all about it when we're done. Hope you're having a good morning. So we just had the most fun at the gym today. A got to go on this um, mattress filled with air and he wasn't so fond of that. The whole thing was about separation. So how far he could be away from me or what things he wanted to do with me or without me or whatever. And he did pretty well, except for that whole mattress filled with, filled with air thing. He really didn't like that very much. But, um, but no, we had a lot of fun and the teacher was fantastic and as always. And, um, and yeah, so I can't wait to go back next week. Next week, T gets to come with us. So I think that'll be really fun. Hopefully he'll get some good pictures and stuff. But A is really funny. So he'll be running around and all of a sudden he'll forget what he wants to do or he just wants to not do it anymore and he'll just sit down. So we were playing, all the kids were on that mattress and he just went over to the wall and sat down. Just like, okay, I'm done. So anyway, A, did you have fun? You're playing with the, the stamps. Do you want to show them the stamps you have on your hands? See? I have stamps on my hands. Oh. Is that fun? And you have them on that side too? And do you have them on your feet too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have them on your toesies too, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Oh my goodness, there's a shoe. All right, so I think we're gonna head home. We were gonna visit Mimi, but um, I think she may be busy at work. So, um, we'll head home. And I don't know what we'll do the rest of the day, but somebody needs to nap. Somebody needs to nap. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Cheese! Look at you on this side. Look at you on this side. Hello. Hello. What's his name? Baby. Is his name Baby? Mimi. That's not Mimi, is it? Ma? Mama? It's not Oma or Mama. What's your Sharky's name? Buddha. Oh, is that it? Uh. You know what, eh? Our rain has gone away. It looks sunny now. What do you think? Can we stop doing chores in the house now? Uh. You think so? So we just swept and mopped the, all the floors, we vacuumed, we, what else did we do? Mama? Dusted, we did the dishes, we started some laundry. <laughs> Mom is ready to not do chores anymore. Oh, we made lunch. I made lunch. So, yeah. Now we're going to maybe go outside and hang out outside, although it is still kind of wet. It's just poured, it poured, poured, poured. And then all of a sudden now it's fine. So, um, speaking of which, actually no, not speaking of which, there is nothing to do with this topic that I was just talking about. But at some point in the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing another rant. So just warning you, but it's going to be about people's perceptions of people with tattoos coming from someone who has them. Because I ran into that a lot today about people getting really upset and just um a little not upset but just uncomfortable mm -hmm. when they see my tattoos out in public so mm -hmm. i thought that would be an interesting thing to talk about mm -hmm. maybe not maybe you guys don't want to hear about it but mm -hmm. i thought it might be interesting mm -hmm. yes baby whoa andy's down whoa huh. anyway um so yeah just came home a took a nap, took a really good nap. He was down for quite a few hours. And then um, we started doing chores. And then Mimi's gonna come over tonight and who knows what we'll do then. But um, Daddy's at work and then I go back to work tomorrow. Mama. Yeah. So I hope you guys are having a good afternoon. If we do anything fun, we will definitely video some more. And somebody wants to show you one more time. Shark. Shark. Sure. Yeah, is that his fin and his tail? Yeah, what's his name? 
Jamaica man. <laughs> Is that what your shirt says? It says Jamaica, no problem. <laughs> Dude, oh yeah, should we show him? We got smiley faces today at the gym. <laughs> and you got another one on that side? Yeah, and you got two on your feet, didn't you? Yeah. Can you blow kisses? Can you say bye bye? How about, how about, can you say bye? Can you say bye? Hey, can you say bye? No, we're being very solemn now. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, can you say bye? You say bye. Oh, hello. I can see up your nose. Okay, he can't say bye. Actually have quite a few men who watch this so if you're watching this men and you don't want to hear about girly things like makeup go ahead and just turn this right off I appreciate you watching thus far but you probably won't find this interesting those of you who have remained and would like to hear some more um, I actually have two products that I do want to talk about and it turned into two because initially I just had one that I wanted to talk about and it was kind of a negative review and so I figured I probably should have something positive to say about something. So I decided to add a second item to our to my review list. Um, as you can probably notice, I don't wear makeup every single day. I don't wear a ton of makeup all the time. Um, usually when I'm at home, I really don't wear it at all just because I'm not doing anything that requires makeup. I'm not going out, I'm not seeing anybody. Um, if I do go out, it will just be foundation or concealer, foundation, eyeliner, mascara. That's pretty much it. I don't do much in the way of eyeshadows or blush or anything like that. I'm already kind of pink as far as my complexion goes, so I don't feel like I really need too, too much. Um, and then also, I mean, I'll use lip stuff occasionally, lipstick, lip gloss, lip whatever. Um... But I feel like with the amount or the, the lack of makeup I wear, I usually don't pick the right color. So I usually look like a clown or I look like I'm trying too hard or something. I don't know. That's kind of how I feel about it. Maybe I just haven't found the right products yet. Um, so anyway, so I was at Target the other day and I realized that I needed to get a concealer. Um, just something for under my eyes, um, the occasional blemish, whatever. But I didn't really want to pay $8 for a, a drugstore concealer, which sounds really cheap, and I am really cheap. So <laughs> when it comes to makeup, I really don't want to pay a ton of money um, just because I don't wear it that much. And some of you may think that that's the opposite. I should spend more money because I don't buy it that much. I will get more wear out of it. But um, I also don't want to keep it for so long that it goes bad. So um, anyway, so I went into... Target and if you guys have ever been to Target they offer they have the elf brand ELF um, and they're really good pharmacy brand or drugstore brand like inexpensive makeup and I've used their eyeliner before I've used um, what else have I used of theirs I don't know just like little things never foundation or anything like that um, just because usually they don't have the right tone for me they don't have the right color so I went in and I found this tone correcting concealer and this is what this looks like and this is in apricot beige and the pigment is perfect I mean all signs point to this should work and it was I think a dollar fifty or something I mean it was really really inexpensive so I didn't expect really great things from it um, but I figured it would just cover and do whatever I needed to do so I used it and I've been using it just because I feel like an idiot for the reasons why I don't like this product. So I have been using it, but it smells, ugh, it smells like, oh, that's terrible. It smells like a really, a really cheap lip gloss mixed with like a, I don't know. It's like a fruity something. It's like a, it's like a mixed fruit honey something I don't know what it is but it's terrible I 
dislike using this product just because of the smell, which is a big deal. I mean, lip glosses smell, foundations have a smell usually. I mean, unless you buy a really high end one, they usually have a smell and I don't mind that at all. Um, I don't mind mascara smells like I don't mind that at all, but this is terrible. This is a terrible smell. Um, it does conceal pretty well. I think I probably need a thicker, um, I think I need this to be thicker, so I probably need to find a different kind of concealer. Um, it does cover up blemishes really well, um, and it does that kind of thing, but as far as the under eye circles go, it really doesn't. And I think I just need to find a stick, like a concealer stick, because those seem to have worked a little bit better in the past for me. But anyway, I'm sorry to the makers of this product. I think that you were going in the right direction, but I do think that if you happen to make this, do a redo of this product, the smell should be different because that has really thrown me off and that will probably keep me from repurchasing this. On the upside, I did find a um, long lasting pressed powder from Rimmel, it's the Stay Matte, and this is in Creamy Natural. So if you can't already tell, my skin is pretty much on the lightest shade you can possibly find in any makeup. Like I buy um, light ivory foundation, like there, there isn't a whiter than me. So unless they had a translucent, that's pretty much where I am. So um, anyway, so I'll just put this right on top and it says long lasting pressed powder, um, up to five hours of natural shine control. Helps minimize the appearance of pores, um, yada, yada, yada. And it really does. Honestly, I'll put this on before work. By the time I get home, which is about 11 hours later, um, I'll have shiny spots, but just because I touch my face a lot. Um, but I really do feel like if I just reapplied halfway through my shift, I would be totally fine. Um, it's, I'm really sad that I found the bottom of this though. I mean, I'm going to have to go buy more soon, but, um, I think the shade is perfect. I think that they offer quite a few shades of this, um, and they range from anywhere from really, really dark to really light, which I like a lot. Um, it's easy to put on, it's easy to clean off, it doesn't get everywhere. I know sometimes the pressed powders will get on your clothes and then kind of stay there, but this one really doesn't do that. Um, I like the packaging. I don't know. I just like it. And I really like Rimmel. Um, I really like their packaging. I like their price. Rimmel is actually rather inexpensive as well. Um, in fact, I may go to Rimmel to find a concealer next. I should probably do that. Um, if you guys have any suggestions about where to go to find a good concealer, that would be awesome. Um, like I said, I'm willing to pay a little bit of money for makeup, but not a ton. I'd rather try a bunch of them that are inexpensive and see what I like before I go and pay a ton of money for one. Um, but if there is one that you've used and you've used for a long time and really like, I'm definitely willing to go check it out. Um, the same with anything really, same with foundation, um, lipstick, anything like that, I'm definitely up for. And um, I hope this was entertaining for you. I just, I kept having this feeling about this. Every time I put it on, I thought, oh, I should put this in my vlog. I should say something about this. And I don't really know why, I just felt the need to. Apparently it irked me enough that I needed to be vocal about it to more than just my husband who really doesn't care about concealer. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good night and thank you for listening. If you guys um, like these and want to see more, let me know. Um, if you could care less, like tea, let me know. And, um, and we'll see if there's anything else. I may do an empties um, segment at some time. At some time. Might do a, an empties segment sometime um, to show you the products that I have really liked because there are quite a few. I just have to collect them. So. Um, just let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you for following us today. We'll be back tomorrow. Follow us on Instagram at Pack of Packas.